Here we have circle O that has a radius of 8 centimeters and a chord length of 10 centimeters. And they want us to find the angle AOB. So we're looking for this guy right here. So if we know some angles and we know some sides, we can use um, some of our trigonometric ratios to find the missing sides of a right triangle or the missing angles. So let's draw one of our triangles here. Is it right triangle? So we have O, M, and A with a hypotenuse of 8, and we know AM is 5 because it's half of the chord length. And we are going to be looking for this angle here first. So we're going to call this theta. So what we're going to use is our sine function. We know sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So let's set that up. Let's go down here. We're going to say sine of theta equals opposite of our angle is here. So 5 and our hypotenuse we know is 8. So because we're solving for an angle, we're actually going to have to use the inverse of sine to figure out our angle measurement. So we're going to say sine of theta is equal to sine of negative 1 times 5 over 8. And if we use our second button on our calculators, it'll pull up the sine of negative 1. And this is going to come out to about 38.68 degrees. Now that's just one half of our angle here. This is all we just found. So we need to find the whole thing. So if we take 38.68 and multiply it by 2 times 2, we come to an angle of roughly 77.4 degrees. And that is the angle AOB.